Hello everybody, today we are going to study about density, but before we start, I ask you to subscribe to my channel. In addition, following our Instagram and Facebook pages will be very important support for us. Ok, let's get started. So what is density basically? As you know, a certain volume of iron is heavier than the same volume of ice. In science, such comparisons are made by using the term density. This is the mass per unit volume of a substance and is calculated from this formula. Here rho stands for density, m stands for mass and v stands for volume. The SI unit of density is the kilogram per cubic meter. To convert a density from gram per cubic centimeter to kilograms per cubic meter, we multiply by 10 to 3. For example, the density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter or 10 to 3 kilograms per cubic meter. The approximate densities of some common substances are given in this table. As you can see from the table, solids have much greater densities than liquids and gases. Let's solve an example question about the simple formula we just learned. Taking the density of iron, 8 gram per cubic centimeter, find a. the mass of 5 cubic centimeter and b. the volume of 72 grams. Now we will use our formula. This is the famous formula for density, as you know. For a, we can convert the formula that gives the density to give the mass as follows. If we, if we replace the values of the density and volume in formula, we can find the mass as 40 grams. For B, we can also convert the formula that gives the density to give the volume as follows. If we replace the values of the density and mass in formula, we can find the volume as 9 cubic centimeter. So, to find the density of a sample, we first need to know its mass and volume. If we somehow determine the mass and volume of the object, we can find its density. For a regularly shaped solid, the mass is found on a balance and the volume by measuring its dimension with a ruler. The example here shows a cube. As you know, if you measure an edge of the cube, you can calculate the volume of the cube. You can then calculate the density using our formula. For non-regular shaped objects, the mass of the solid is found on a balance. As we learned before, we can use a method called water displacement to measure the volume of the non-regular shaped objects. Put the object in a measured amount of water and measure how much the water rises on a graduated cylinder. The difference is the volume of the object. You can then calculate the density using our formula. Ok, now let's review a method used to determine the density of liquids. In this method, we place a measuring cylinder on a balance and set the balance to zero. After this, we pour liquid into the cylinder and then we read the volume from the scale on the cylinder. The balance shows the mass of the liquid. We can then calculate the density using our formula. If the density of an object is greater than the density of the liquid, it will sink to the bottom when it is released into that liquid. If the densities of the liquid and the body are equal, the object hangs in the liquid. If the density of the object is less than the density of the liquid, the object will float on the surface of the liquid. An iron nail sinks in water, but an iron ship floats because its average density is less than that of water. Ok, this is the end of chapter 4, density. I hope this revision video will be helpful for you. See you on next video.